Today, we'll be visiting Kambe, which uses top-of-the-line ingredients to create the unique flavors of Korea. And we'll be venturing off to one of the most popular tourist attractions of Korea, Myeongdong. And we'll also visit the food alleyway. This is Food Lovers Paradise Cuisine Korea. Hello everyone, I'm Jamie. It's still a bit chilly out, but there are signs that spring is near. I hear that the Japanese apricot trees and the ray flowers are in full bloom in Jeju-do, and many people are flamboyantly dressed here on the streets. Now when the weather gets warmer, many people have increased appetite. So today we're going to venture off to find some delicacies that are full of nutrition. In the midst of the bamboo trees and the white buildings is the Korean restaurant, Kaeongbae. Even though it's located only 20 minutes away from downtown, you'll feel the peace and quiet. 가득 채우는 것을 경계하라는 뜻을 가진 말인데요. 창도라는 책에서 처음 이 말을 접했을 때 사람이 살면서 참 중요한 교훈이 되겠다라는 생각을 했습니다. 꼭 가진 사람만이 욕심을 내지 말라는 것보다는 누구든지 자기 생활에 만족하고 한다면 보리와 한 그릇으로라도 행복을 느낄 수 있지 않을까 해서 개영배라는 말을 가게 상으로 짓게 되었습니다. The halls all lead to comfortable rooms where each room has an open view of the natural scenery. At a glance, the decorations and the silverware might seem to lack exoticism, but it conveys the subtle sense of beauty and tradition. Gyeonggi-do produces an abundant amount of wild vegetables and seafood. Foods in those areas feature a simple and refreshing taste. There are lots of menu items here, so let's see what we're going to be making today. Gyeongbae's dishes are comprised of Hwangye-do, Seoul, Gyeonggi-do, and the northern style of cooking. Today, we'll be making charcoal boneless beef rib patty and Fry fish cover with glutinous rice powder and sweet sauce. The chef who's in charge of the dishes at Gyeongbae. With his nine years of experience, thinking of the customers first and using only the freshest ingredients, Chef Nam Jae-uk, he carries the secret of Gyeongbae. Kyeongbae嗯식面의특징이있다면요？예，저희업소의특징은첫째，서울、경기、이북지역의음식을주로선보이고있으며화학조미료를거의사용하지않아깔끔하면서담백한맛을특징으로하고있습니다그리고두번
a spoonful of sesame salt for a roasty flavor, along with a bit of pepper and sesame oil, then mix well. The delicious boneless beef rib sauce is now complete. Take the long stem of the green onion and cut it in half. Then cut it into 5 centimeter pieces and set aside for later. Prepare the low calorie mushrooms that's high in protein by cutting it in half. Cut the shiitake mushroom into 3 pieces along with the other mushrooms. Then cut the onion in half and slice into suitable sizes for later use. When the vegetables are all prepared, marinate the meat in the prepared rib sauce and ned. Afterwards, place the meat on the plate and shape well. Carefully place the meat on the grill so that it won't lose its original shape. When the meat begins to cook, place the assorted mushrooms alongside the grill. When the meat has browned, turn over to cook the other side. But be careful since this is when the meat is most vulnerable to break apart. When the meat has finished cooking, remove it from the grill and place it on the plate. Then place the prepared vegetables and mushrooms as well. The crispy, tender takarvi is now complete. What do you want to make the next meal? 네, 두 번째 음식은 생선 찹쌀구이를 해보도록 하겠습니다. 저희 집의 생선 찹쌀구이는 어, 활광어를 어, 하루 정도 숙성을 시킨 후 세, 저, 찹쌀가루를 묻혀가지고 부드러운 맛을 내는 그런 음식입니다. Prepare the fish, onion, leek, and the green onion. Next, prepare the seasoning sauce, lemon juice, mustard, and honey. Finally, slice the flat fish. This winter delicacy is a popular sashimi item due to its freshness and firm meat. Salten the flatfish evenly and sprinkle pepper over the fish for basic seasoning. Then cover both sides of the fish with rice powder and shake off any loose powder so that it won't clump. The touch of the hand is now needed to master this dish. First, add two spoons of lemon juice into the grated onion, three spoons of apple vinegar juice, mustard, honey, and a spoonful of grated garlic and mix well. Finally, the sweet and sour fish sauce is complete. Prepare the green onion by cutting it in half and slicing it into fine pieces. Cut the leek into 5 centimeter lengths. Next, prepare the onion and set aside with the other vegetables. When the oil heats to 170 degrees, briefly fry the powder fish, then remove. Shortly after, refry the fish once more, this time letting it cook until the meat is well done. This removes hidden fat of the fish and the dish tastes crispier. Mix the prepared green onion, leek, and onion, then place them on a plate. Take the fried fish and place it on top of the vegetables. Lastly, evenly pour the sweet and sour sauce over the entire dish. The 
crispy, tender, sweet and sour fried fish covered with rice powder is complete. More of Kayongbe's special. Wild mushroom with fried vegetables with beef with the scent of pine. Assorted seafood and fresh abalone delight. Vegetables wrapped in finely sliced squid topped with original dressing. These are just some of the seafood delicacies you don't want to miss at Keongbe. The table has been set with the dishes that we've prepared, and now for my favorite part, I get to try them. Okay, for my first dish. Mmm, very good. Mmm, it's very tender. I'm gonna try the mushroom too. Oh, I love mushrooms. It's been marinated perfectly. Now moving on to our second dish. I'm gonna break off a little piece. Crispy on the outside, a little twee on the inside. And the sauce, it has a tangy flavor. I don't think you'll be disappointed. Very nice. Mm. Keong Bay is recognized for its unique, smooth Huangado style dishes using little artificial preservatives. It creates a clean, wholesome taste, offering a variety of menu items for its wide range of customers. From the reasonable lunch menu, weekend specials to course entrees can be seen as another merit of this restaurant. Perhaps this is one of the reasons why customers keep coming back after dining at Keongbe. Tteokgalbi가 다른 곳하고 틀리게 스프레고 와서 음 감칠맛 나고 맛있어서 너무 너무 좋아요. 도심에서 멀리 떨어지지도 않았고 굉장히 가까운데 시골 같은 분위기를 느낄 수도 있고 또비 오는 날이나 눈 오는 날 같은 경우에 경치도 좋고요. Most Korean dishes have a strong taste. Now I think that's one of the appealing parts of Korean food. If you want to experience something special, then come visit the Korean restaurant, Keongbe. Looks good, tastes good. Between the business district and the trade center lies the Grand Intercontinental Seoul, located in Samsungdong, Gangnam-gu. Here, comfort is a given, but you also find interesting things to see and unique flavors to taste. Well, the Grand Intercontinental Seoul has uh, 15 outlets, uh, 9 restaurants, 5 lounge and bar, and uh, a delicatessen shop. The uh, wide variety of the restaurants here is uh, what makes uh, the uh, biggest point of this uh, hotel, from Asian restaurants to Western food. and. Uh, private bars, membership clubs, and uh, entertainment bars. Today's recommended restaurant is a French restaurant, Table 34. Designed by the world-famous designer, Tony Chi, this restaurant is proud of its cellar stocked with nearly 4,000 bottles of wine, with its bar carrying a diverse wine list of 300. It's very easy. The French contemporary cuisine that we back here is uh, based on the old French traditional dishes and recipes. And we transport us in a new way, in a new form, means we don't use the flour for the cells. We're looking for the healthy, that we have all the vitamins in the food, working with the fresh vegetables, only with fresh products, and bring this in a new style, a new form, the old recipes. 
means uh, I say it's similar to when you find a brand mark for your car. Uh, it's like with the food. You will always have the best and the newest way, but you still take the brand. Finely sliced salmon topped with dressing. An enjoyable salmon trout carpaccio with baked oxtail. 100% fresh vegetable tomato soup. Healthy mullet roasted on the skin with bell pepper and rocket lettuce. A deer special with spinach and walnut is enjoyed during the months of September through March in France. And finally, natural homemade ice cream, champagne mousse, etc. Experience the unique taste and fragrance of this French restaurant, Table 34. Are you looking for a place where you could shop and try different dishes at the same time? Well, there is a place just for that. It is called Myeongdo, and I'm standing right in the middle of it. I hear that more than 2 million people pass through Myeongdo each day. Today at Kuzi Korea, I will introduce you dishes that you can try only in Myeongdo. I hope you're excited as I am. Now, why don't you follow me? Mili Ore and New Tuzo, located at the heart of Myeongdong, is always alive with people seeking new trends or visitors admiring all its shops and fashion sense. What do you think of Myeongdong so far? It's excellent. There's a large range of stores and we get a lot more choice than we do in Australia. I see. So how long are you staying in Seoul? Ten days. Ten days. Are you coming? Are you planning on coming back to Myeongdong? <laughs> we are. We are. This time and we'll come back to Seoul again too. Have you tried any of the restaurants around here? Okay. We have, yes. Uh, uh, I can't tell you the name but we had bibimbap for lunch mm -hmm. and it was excellent. Yeah. Okay, so what are the things that you like the most about Myeongdong? Um, just shop, shop around, so nothing specific, but just uh, like the place, the environment. What about the food, the restaurants? Have you tried many yes. of the restaurants here? Yes, we have the dumpling, we have tried uh, chicken, ginseng, what is that, rice? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I see, okay. Yeah. You'll find many vendors on the sidewalk, from sparkling accessories to pretty dolls, all at a reasonable price. There are endless things to see and purchase, and of course, we can't leave out the variety things to taste. From the U2 Zone building, head toward Uchiro until you come across a small alleyway. This is the place we'll be visiting today, the famous Myeongdong Food Alley. There are many new shops and stores that open up and go out of business in Myeongdo. But also, there are some restaurants that have been around for over 30 years. I'm standing in an alley where it's famous for its cuisines. I hear they have great seafood soup here. Now come with me and let's taste some seafood soup together. Rumor has it the seafood stew of Myeongdo Mother's House is one of the best on this alley. Once you get a sip of the hot boiled stew, you crave for more and more. I love in the large pot, add a generous amount of bean sprouts. More than 10 different varieties of fresh seafood will also be added, along with red pepper powder for seasoning. 
After pouring in the beef stock, boil over hot fire and you'll end up with smoothing stew, delicious clams, and plump shrimps that'll melt in your mouth. Very chewy and full of flavor. Now I'm going to try the soup. Mm, just as I imagined. I think that the vegetables gave it a very refreshing taste. Delicious. <laughs> this restaurant has been featured in numerous Japanese programs, making it a must place to go when they visit Korea. <laughs> Are you looking for a dish that is full of flavor and nutrition? When you're looking for a nutritious dish, there's a restaurant in Myeongdong that we cannot leave out. Now follow me. A picture in front of the chicken house? Yes, there is a reason, of course. In business for more than 40 years in Myeongdong, this roast chicken house is a nutrient center. The taste of the chicken attracts many older customers, which they say brings back memories of their childhood. Slowly roasting over 300 degrees, you can see it cooking with temptation. The crispy skin and the tender meat will lure you back once you taste it. <laughs> now there's one more hidden menu item, and that's the chicken stew. The secret of this recipe is the stock. They use 100 whole chickens and boil for about an hour. In addition, rice powder, ginseng, chestnut, and along the lines of Chinese herbs are added to make this nutritious chicken stew. How about taking a big bite of that tempting drumstick? Very tasteful, very delicious. <laughs> Many foreigners also find this dish to be very enjoyable. The hot soup and the tender meat attracts many customers. When the day comes to an end, the vendors begin their day. Did you know a whole new world of taste emerge at night? Wondering what I'm doing right now? I was going to try this. 
These are candy-covered fruit on a stick. Not only does it taste good, but it's also fun to eat. Popular enough to create a line, this item, ground fish and vegetable fry wrapped in sesame leaf. Pan-grilled buttered squid will also catch your eye. Waffles, anyone? You can also find them at Myeongdong as well. Myeongdong, a place where you can do your shopping with endless things to eat. Overflowing with diverse personality, it's a place with much character. No wonder it's a popular attraction. The streets of Myeongdong are filled with restaurants that serve dishes that can be both enjoyed by the younger and older generations. Are you feeling a little gloomy today? Then why don't you come out to the streets of Myeongdong where it's filled with life. Cuisine Korea, this is all for today and I'll be back next time with more delicious stories. Till then, goodbye.